Welcome to OpenOffice Video. In this video, we'll cover page numbers, styles, and how to create a table of content. First, we're going to add page numbers to our dummy document. First, we'll uh, spread the text out over multiple pages. You can do this by pressing Ctrl uh, Enter or Apple Enter on the, on the Mac. Or you can do this via the menu, via insert, manual break, page break. So now we have three pages. We'll go to the first page, you can see here page one of three, um, and we'll go insert a page number. To do this, we first have to insert, create a footer. You go to insert footer, insert footer all, since we want to create a footer on all pages. You can see now the cursor has moved to the bottom of the screen. We now go to insert field page number and we'll move this to the right side of the bottom of the footer uh, because left is a bit weird and we'll move this to a line right. Now we'll add headings. Let's just say we'll create some room for our an empty first page so we can insert the table of contents here later and we'll insert chapter titles. I'm not going to be creative here. My chapters are titled chapter 1. The next one is called chapter 2. And I think you can see this coming. This will be chapter 3. Also, I'm going to create paragraphs. Not usually something you do in the middle of a sentence, but this is paragraph 1. Yeah, we'll have paragraph two. Okay, now we'll apply the appropriate headings. We go to the start of the document and we apply heading one here and here. And this is heading two. And we have a chapter title that is in this document that is a heading one. And adding two. You can also, of course, choose where, where, what level you want to apply which heading, as long as you're consistent throughout your documents. Now, the big power of using the styles will, and well, I'll, I'll show you right now, that is in creating a table of contents, completely automatic and self updating. Now, we go to insert indexes and tables, indexes and tables again. And here we have selected the table of contents. And even here on the left you can see a preview of how the formatting is laid out. We're just going to leave it as is and we'll click OK. And here you have your table of contents with heading 1, this is heading 2, indented, and neat little paragraph numbers. And now the great trick comes here. If we now move paragraph 2 10 pages down because we want to insert something other and we scroll back to our table of contents and we click right click and we click update index table then it immediately moves updates the page numbers so you'll never have to worry about updating your table of contents manually again all right that's it for now i hope this was useful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments bye